So this was a week ago. Chicago hosts free COVID flu clinic call for Governor Pritzker to require masks at health care facilities. Respiratory viruses are spreading quickly right now. Yes, they do every year. And with more holiday gatherings in the next week, the Chicago Department of Public Health is urging people to get vaccinated, but it goes further. Anyone six months and older can get the shots. The RS vaccine is not available at the clinic. On Wednesday, local nurses called on Governor J.B. Pritzker and the director of the Illinois Department of Public Health to require masks again at all healthcare facilities. Nurses from several groups plan to speak in front of UIC Hospital on Wednesday. Oh, interesting that they're not mentioning who the groups are. Well, I'll tell you who they are. I would guarantee it is Illinois Nurses Association. Illinois Nurses Association's biggest nursing contract in Illinois is at UIC. And then you can see in the second paragraph, the group, I wonder why they're just not saying INA or Illinois Nurses Association. The group said last week, the Illinois Department of Public Health recommended using masks in healthcare settings because of rising RSV and COVID cases. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention also issued an alert about respiratory illnesses spreading. It, it, it said recommending masks is a step in the right direction and requiring them could save lives and prevent hospitalization. No, no, this is all non-common sense here. Okay, we've had respiratory viruses this time of year, every year. Um, I don't know who these nurses are. They're being used. The, the union uses them. Um, and I have said in many videos my experience with Illinois Nurses Association and um, a union that was voted in at my first nursing job and how one of the chief or uh, my chief nursing officer came right at the same time that the union was voted in. She came from the psychiatric department at UIC. A bunch of shenanigans went down that shouldn't have gone down. She should have been investigated, that chief nursing officer. And Illinois Nurses Association knew who she was, which is why they didn't do the right thing. I'm not going into all that because I've done so many videos on it. It was wrong. No, um, no rectifying that situation ever happened. No accountability was ever... Um, Nobody did the right thing. None of them did the right thing. Illinois Nurses Association didn't. Neither did. And UIC, UIC, their psychiatric department oversees the DCFS hospitals in Illinois. Yeah, and this woman was on that team. She was on that team before she came over to be the chief nursing officer at the DCFS hospital I was at. And then all this took place. Yes, because it served to help um, the facility and they shut down two years after all the things they did to me that were wrong and there should have been accountability. The things they accused me of and then they went on to this chief nursing officer from University of Illinois, Chicago. She, was a, she taught forensic nursing there on top of it. But she was part of the oversight over DCFS. But then she went on to emotionally abuse a kid because she accused me of something that she knew was a lie and then tried to make the case afterwards and couldn't. But she didn't suffer any consequences. None for her poor... I mean, it, it really borders on criminal behavior, in my opinion. It's definitely criminally minded. So they, they are using these nurses in these unions to help push globalism. If you're a nurse that is pushing masks, then you're either a brand new nurse who thinks that this is the new medical knowledge and you're not being told that there's plenty of studies showing that masks are not a good idea. And furthermore, you haven't been a nurse long enough then to realize that we've gone through many illnesses every year at this time. And before COVID, we didn't have to walk around in masks. So if you want to be little dictators and just believe whatever your union says, then you're being used as a pawn. That's why I say you shouldn't trust these nursing unions. You shouldn't. I know from personal experience, you should. if you want to be in a union, you should at least want to be in one that is willing to do the right thing, 
pushing masks on all healthcare workers to walk around in those for 12 hours a day is ludicrous. It leads to more problems. It does because you're inhaling all this gross stuff in the mask. It's one thing to have to wear a mask to go into an infectious room. That's what we've all been taught. And then when we come out, we take the mask off. But to mandate everybody in healthcare facilities, um, and, and, and you're going to encourage Governor Pritzker and Illinois Department of Health to do this, then you know what? You, you are nurses that don't have common sense. Really, you do, but you've been brainwashed by your union. I guarantee that's who, who, who this group is. But it's interesting how they don't want to say who the group is. See, Illinois Nurses Association supports Governor Pritzker. Yes, they support the governor that, um, push, uh, that, that pushed drag time story hour in the classroom. That actually is the uh, Pritzker family that brought the transgenderism grooming in the classroom onto children. It started with the Pritzkers, yes. And that's who Illinois Nurses Association supports. Yep, it is. It's who American Nurses Association supports. But that doesn't surprise me because I saw how these people didn't care about children. Illinois Nurses Association didn't care about this chief nursing officer from UIC um, emotionally abusing this kid or trying to twist his words. He wrote it all down. Social worker told me. And they didn't care. They, Illinois Nurses Association didn't want to touch it because they knew who the chief nursing officer was because she came from UIC where their biggest contract is. It was all designed, the whole thing, so that this facility could close. It was all part of the globalist plan. So if you're a nurse in Illinois Nurses Association, not that the algorithms will allow you to see any of my videos, but you might want to rethink your union because they don't do the right thing. And clearly, if they have a bunch of nurses in Illinois or in Chicago encouraging that all healthcare facilities wear masks again, then it's clearly obvious that they still don't know how to do the right thing. And they're just using a bunch of nurses that aren't using their brain.